Hey everyone, I hope you are all well. Nicola Lightworker here, um, remembering yourself back into your light. And through that process of remembering who you are, which is the ascension, we have ascension symptoms. So I've done two already, which is the back pain and I did headaches. So I'm gonna link these up into a playlist for you. And I wanted to come on and do about knees and hips the lower body, that we, we get all these beautiful pains um, that, are tr in, uh, uh, that tr are trapped uh, emotional states in the hips and in the knees. So, um, yeah, this is what we're going to be talking about today. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. I've got all my links below, nicolalight.com if you want to work with me individually and have a little look at my online courses and all those details below. Um, as well as my membership, as well as my membership, which I will continue this information on for you in that membership where I hold extra information um, and more in depth detail about this. So the way that I do it is I, 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 I bring in my intelligence of knowing but I'm also going to bring in light codes. Now, the light codes, please connect with those. It's not me just wittering on. The light codes will give you a sense of remembrance within yourself what it is that to assist yourself with your ascension symptoms and, and if it's, it's regarding your knees and hips. So, for the greatest good of all, so we want to bring through information to assist everybody on their ascension journey if we find in that the old physical body is playing up. So let's see if we can get some information through. Now, it all starts in the foot. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> going to say that. So it all start now, just bear with me. Right, there's the foot. Da. <laughs> and a fine foot at that. Thank you. Thank you. Da, tu li I'm very artistic, indeed. Alegiana makusi makiatan agrabar mio kora siokiot on the mahuisia. So we have the toes. Dale liao makusi makiatan esia and the heels, okay? Da, alegiana makusi makiatan and the underfoot. So we have the ball of the foot um, underneath here and the edge of the foot as well. We have this part here, okay? Right? Okay, now, Alagiana Alabare Mokosi Bakiana, Isia Kita, Isia Makiatam. As the energy th flows through your energetic field and your um, physical body, we have at the very bottom an out of the foot. So they're talking about this as being an outage. This is an out. The foot is where the energy flows through the body comes in at the top of the head where we might get a headache so go check that video out if um if you want to have a look at look at that in more detail comes through the body in down through the central column which is the the um the spinal cord it runs down right down to the base splits at the hips which is where we could get all the pooling of energy past the knees where there's a lot of suppressive energy past the ankles and then out through the heel and the toes and the ball of the feet. So it's just an out. It's an outward flush, okay? Now, so this is like where we are connected to the earth. That is where we tread upon the earth. Simple. Okay, so we have the subconscious and then we have the conscious um, level of understanding within these areas here. So at the back, the back is the subconscious mind, the front is the conscious mind. And then we have the masculine, the feminine energy with the right and the left, with the masculine and the feminine energy. But if we actually look at it as the, the feet, when we 
feel into a balance of the energy as it flows through you it enables you to connect to the earth's grid but in a completely balanced way so the feet are so important okay the feet are so important where you can push through the energy out of your feet but if you've not upgraded your ability to ground and anchor your light in with your energetic field then you're not going to be able to pull the energy out and flush through the system it's going to have a backup it's going to back up into your physical body your physical body is not going to be able to expel the energy okay it's just like if you've got an upset tummy and you're not being able to go to the toilet you're going to get a backup you're going to get a belly ache and the same as um <laughs> energetic constipation shall we say and it can feel very uncomfortable too much junk in your trunk and it creates a bit of pressure upon the knees as it comes up and the old noblies in the old no nubbly knees and then up into the hip joint <laughs> i get better at this every day don't i so we got your nubblies you got your knees and then you've got your hips all right <laughs> honestly don't you just love my drawings i do so that's the main thing so if we've got the energy moving through the meridian lines and then we've got chakras that sort of sit here in the body outside of the body in the body outside of the body chakra systems lines that go down galore now i don't know the the absolutes but you know we've got all of this going on here <laughs> so I'm not going into the final details of this, but I'm just looking at the mechanics of energetic flowing systems to prevent you from getting a knee and hip uh, uh, pain. Go ahead. So we know now then how it sort of all works, the mechanics of it, all right? But there's also layers of information that is stored within the body, within the energetic field, within the emotional body, the mental body, that's stored up that um, is a block okay so we know that we're going to flush it through conscious unconscious masculine feminine all that beautiful jazz moving it through your field spine going wonderful crown open up so you don't get your headaches you don't get your back pain it's moving through the hips it's flushing through beautiful but as the vibration rises you're going to deepen into your shadow and deepening into your shadow is the junk in your trunk okay these are the blocks these blocks might be from past lives or ancestral and when it comes to ancestral it's actually deep cellular it's the dna structure it's what makes up the body it's your mum your dad your nan your auntie all of it coming in great nan <laughs> all of these people that make up this physical body through generations after generations and with that there's this um there's a need for an upgrade in that understanding as well as an adjustment with the mind also because when we say oh my nan had a hip replacement oh my auntie had a knee replacement what do you do you claim that that is an ancestral part of your makeup therefore your mind is going to claim having bad hips and ha and bad knees yeah so we take on from our mind as well as an energetic block that claims into physicality that we're going to have it too because they did yeah so like my mum had a hip replacement yes she did she had two of them my auntie had two knees done my dad had a really bad back 
I could have said, oh yeah, I'm going to cut. Yeah, so I've got relatives that will continue my sister, bad knees. She's claiming it. I've always said in my mind, and I've had always had this greater knowing within myself, is that no, 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 no. I am not going to take my dad's back on. He had a really bad back and I would I would have this sort of like feeling of a bad back coming on. So I went and I used to hang upside down on hammocks and I would do stretching and I would feel the energy of the pain in my back and say, no, 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 no. So I really worked at the release of it. And as I got really into, um, so this is through my own experience, this information as well as channeling information in, through my own experience, I looked at the back and I was like, no, I'm not having it. If you go to an osteopath, and again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not somebody, I'm not an osteopath or a chiropractor. What they do is they pull the joints into place where the energy pops out. That's it. That's all you need to do as well. You don't necessarily have to go to a chiropractor. Of course you can if you want to. Be self-empowered. Be aware. Be understanding of your body. Be understanding of your energetic field. And you do it yourself. You do it yourself, okay? Obviously, major blocks. Go and see somebody. If you're drawn to that, do it. There's no good. There's no bad. It just is. If you feel drawn, if the synchronicities come in, then go and seek help from um, a practitioner, for an energy healer, whatever it is that you feel that's going to work you through a stepping stone to empowerment, then do it. Don't sit there and suffer and take it on and then, then let the body allow it to deteriorate because you're not shifting the energy of it. It's all energy. It really is all energy. And some people really get fed up with me talking about, oh, we've got payment. Yeah, that's energy. It is it is because everything is energy and I'm like Whoo, come on guys be empowered okay <laughs> so if you don't want to be empowered that's all right too um this is a lot back paddling here but it is it's energy okay right stop it Nicola. yeah so we can reprogram the mind right this is the thing we replay program the mind we find a way to move us out of claiming and identifying with a hip and a knee joint whether it's ancestral or whether whatever it is okay and i'm not saying that there are some cases there is a genetic thing that goes on with the body that is pre or get ordained pre um, programmed in where you have got issues with the knees and joints of the hips I'm not talking about any of that all right so before you start mm, <laughs> I'm talking about a healthy body already with an energetic flowing system block system that you can shift as an ascension symptom so I'm not talking about dis disease in any shape or form okay so please be aware of that so let's go deeper into the block. So the ancestral here is in the deep cellular structure of the body, which links in with the mind. The past lives also could be a storage junk in your trunk held within the energetic field that bleeds through from another moment in time. We are looking at this individual moment of time of now and sometimes we get a bleed through. So well, there is a playlist that I put on. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll see if I can put a link up to it. It's a playlist that talks about the now moment. Um, have a little look at that. And I talk about the now moments being stacked up. So I'm not going to go into that in this video, but have a little check of that. Because when there are now moments next to now moments, there can be a bleed through from a past life that gets shown because the high self wants you to see what you have been in the past as you descended through the ranks, through your energetic field. As we're ascending through, we're building ourselves back up again into oneness. 
as we descend into the density, into the darkness, for all of those wonderful experiences of fear and despair, with that fall, with the fall, we have the rise, and we're moving through the rise, and so we're moving through the ascension. We've got to see and trace back where we fell, to build back, to, to gather um, the fragments of the soul, the wholeness of the soul. So say if you had an out and you lost a piece of your fragment of your soul, which was, um, I don't know, you had a, a horse riding accident, you fell, you broke your hip, um, you lay on the floor and you died in the freezing cold, um, or you might have been on a battle and somebody speared you through your back pelvis, uh, I've experienced that energy as it's risen within me and feels physically like you've got a spear in your back. It's the weirdest, weirdest thing. And from mind, you'll go like, what? But for those that understand because you've experienced it, then you'll completely get it. So please put a comment below if you've actually experienced it yourself. A dagger through the heart, a slitting of the throat. These are sort of like deaths and outs where it's really, really quite horrific and with that horrific experience you leave a little particle of you in that now moment but as you gather yourself up because you're attracting all that you are into oneness which is the ascension then the physical body will show you all of these outages as you then gather back the bleed through of the now moment from a past life energetically that's going to upset the physical body because you're going to feel that issue that you've experienced no matter where it is in the body you're going to experience that you're going to have maybe a dream state you might bleed through in your dream state it might come to you that the soul fragmentation wants to come back into oneness which is the rise which is the gathering back the wholeness okay so we know then that there is this energy flowing through the system we know and we've spoken about that and the other two videos in the series explains about that in more detail we know that there's blocks that could come in from a past life which is the bleed through of the now moment it might be an ancestral within the deep cellular structure that is being shown here and we can link that in with the mind to let go of that program, that belief system that you're going to carry that forward and carry it forward for others. So we can actually sort of release that through all time and space. Okay. The only other thing that we want to sort of like look at really with this is the breath. That And then the tracing of the energy flow. Because when we're aware that we can have a practice, then we can use the practice to assist us to release the energy. Now, I have, was working with a beautiful lady, and I'm going to name her Krista. Um, with the energy um, and releasing blocks within her system and she is amazing so Krista you are absolutely amazing at releasing this energy through the field and the more that we are understanding and aware of our energy flow that we can link into the blocks see if there is something that's actually working in our inner work can move the blocks move the pain out of the body and it moves out of the feet. It's an outage, remember I said. But the other thing that can push through the energy out of, and it physically moves down the leg. You feel it in your meridian lines. It feels like cramps, okay? You use your breath, and you use your energetic flow by. You feel the energy push through your physical body. So to be empowered to do this yourself, you push the energy out of your feet and you physically feel that you're pushing out. It's not through the muscles, it's the energetic awareness and field that you're pushing it out of. And you'll feel it move through. 
the joints might click as well the body will want to morph and shift and change you might want to do a practice like a yoga a yogic pose it poses you might need to have a wide leg the leg might want to lift and um, push out to the side and when you do so it can feel really painful so when we're releasing these deep deep blocks within ourselves do be aware of that yes these things as we release them can be very painful and this is where the breath will assist you set your intentions come from a higher perspective observe the pain moving through you rather than claiming the pain because when you're looking at the pain moving through you if as soon as you tap into the pain you'll claw it back in and it won't leave you you've got to push through it and observe it so as you do you'll feel the pain and then you just observe the pain it's a completely different way of looking at pain release through the physical body you observe it you push it through you use your breath you push it out you detach from the ownership of the pain and you push it through the hips and the knees out of the um, from the ankles you might even feel the clicking of the toes of the feet itself so you might want to raise the toes up you might want to push the heel more into the ground feeling the energy between both of the legs okay to assist you with these ascension symptoms that you don't need to deal with you really don't need to have to suffer through this process the more you remember how to do it the easier it becomes and you know how to do it through the experience of doing it so just don't take my word for it just go like oh nicola says this is not, it's not gonna work. you try it try this out try it feeling into more about your energy and allowing you to really be on tip-top form with pushing that energy through you the more that you can allow these great big beautiful blocks release from your field and sometimes they feel like boulders <laughs> and sometimes they feel quite gritty and they're easier to manage but the big boulder type blocks you really need to anchor in there and get those blocks through and flush them out the system sometimes the energy might go upwards which is another subject and i'm going to talk about that um with regards to um uh, uh, moving this video on into my membership and my patreon video so for extra information i'm going to continue this video on um but for now for my youtube i'm going to leave it there um and i will go into the upper body on my next video so we'll just have this lovely little package for you to assist you helping you through your, the ascension process and how it physically makes you feel so as i said before in the beginning check out all my details leave me some notes below um, in your comments and sort of see if these videos are assisting you and if you've got any questions at all please let me know and i'll see if i can do videos for you and get some information but through my own experience i know this really works it really does work but you've got to have patience and feel into it rather than just taking my word for it you've got to experience it yourself so i'm going to leave it there as i said like subscribe do all of that beautiful stuff and i'll see my members and patreon in the next video see you all soon take care bye